Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to do thermal simulation in SOLIDWORKS, okay? So before I start this tutorial, I will tell you that there is a free course, remember it is a free course if you want to learn SOLIDWORKS simulation, okay? Check out the link in description if you want to learn about SOLIDWORKS simulation, it is absolutely free of course and it costs you nothing, okay? So make sure that you check out that course. So now let's start with this video. So here you can see I have a fin geometry. So now what I have to do is I have to apply various kind of loads and then let's see the result. Okay. So go to the SOLIDWORKS add-in, click on SOLIDWORKS simulation. Just in case if you're not able to see SOLIDWORKS simulation, it means that you doesn't install it in your SOLIDWORKS system. Okay. So click on here, click on new study. Now here it is asking what kind of simulation you want to do. So basically I want to do thermal simulation. If you want to learn about another simulation, check out my course link in description. It is free. Now click on thermal. After that, click on OK. Now here you can see all the all the parameters that we need to define for our simulation. First thing is part. So we need to define what is the material of our part. So right click on the part. You can apply the favorite materials. Okay, that uh, that is defined already, or you can apply custom material as per your requirement just in case you can also make custom material as per your requirement if you want but in my case I am using uh, let's say which material I will use let's say I will use steel so I am using 201 anneal stainless steel okay so click on apply click close here you can see a check mark is showing it means that I have defined this condition now the second one is connections so connection basically used when you have connection something in my case it is a single part so there is no connections so i don't need to define this okay next part is thermal loads so i need to define what what kind of load it is uh, given so in my case i am giving a heat power so select a phase on which you will apply the heat so how much heat you are going to apply so we know that uh, uh, for example, if there is a current load, then we know that heat produced by a current load is equal to H equal to I square R. So you can put the custom values as per your requirement. In my case, I am putting a 30 volt value. But you can uh, again put the values as per your requirement. Just you know, in my case, all the heat is supplied at the uh, bottom of this here. Now click OK. After that, I need to define is there any kind of air is there there. For example, if I do this experiment now, it means that all my heat goes there. Okay, but there is nothing that is cooled down uh, because I doesn't define is there any kind of air is there. If yes, what is this uh, uh, convection properties? So I need to define that as well. So right click on thermal, click on convection. So convection basically means uh, uh, moving particles or something that takes air okay for example air for example you have a hot body and air is flowing on so it is convection that take heat from the hot body and make it cool down so it is asking where you want to apply this convection click on select all exposed faces and select this last one because from here heat is supplied and there is no uh, kind of convection here okay now next thing is asking what is the value of co uh, convection coefficient? So you can choose as per your requirement. Okay, higher the convection coefficient means higher it will take heat from your body. Lower value means lower it will take heat from here. Okay, just assume that is a co cold air or hot air. Uh, low value of convection means that uh, it is a hot air. High value of convection means it is a co uh, cold air. Okay, because it will take. Uh, a uh, high, uh, high amount of heat with it. So enter the value of convection as per requirement. In my case, I am adding 100 watt. Okay. Now here is the bulk ambient temperature. So what is meant by bulk ambient temperature? So bulk ambient temperature is that temperature in which your air is there. Uh, it basically means temperature of the surrounding. So for example, if I do this experiment on desert, so the bulk ambient temperature is high. If I do this experiment in Antarctica, the bulk ambient temperature is low. So you can choose as per your requirement. In my case, I'm entering a value of 300 Kelvin. So it means 27 degrees Celsius. Click OK. Similarly, let's check this property again. So, okay. So here we have defined everything. 
click OK. Now what I need to do is click on the run this okay and it will first create a mesh and after that it will do the thermal simulation. So after thermal simulation we can see the result. So we can see what is the temperature with this, uh, okay so we can see the temperature. So the red part show here the temperature is about near about uh, this Kelvin okay and the lowest temperature about this. But here you notice the temperature increase or decrease quite uh, 3.00 and 3.023. It means uh, it is 302.3 Kelvin 0 0.002 plus 0 0.02 okay and this is 3.00. So it is not a quite a huge difference. So let's increase the power. So go to a definition. Let's make it 300. Now run the study. Now you will see that it is now 3.226. Now it is quite a high temperature at the base and but at the top it is still a very low temperature that is 300 Kelvin. So 300 Kelvin is the same temperature that is our, uh, around the surroundings okay. And at the bottom it is 302.6 okay. And if I increase this again sorry show right click and click on definition and make it 3000. Uh, the reason I am updating this so that you can figure out so what kind of changes or effect it will done when you increase the heat power okay. So now you can see now the temperature at the bottom is near about uh, 526.3 and at the top it is 300 okay Kelvin. So at the bottom is temperature is quite high. Now suppose your teacher say hey tell me the temperature at this point so how you can figure out. So for that you will go to the plot tools click on probe. After that select the point where you want to calculate the temperature. For example if I select here you can see it is a node and you can get the uh, sum, maximum, average and other temperature values. Okay. You can see Kelvin so it is basically the unit of temperature. In that way you can use any other. Okay. And you can also plot the graph if you want. For example if I go to the ISO clipping. So suppose I want to see the temperature that is uh, below the 413.2 Kelvin. So it is, it is just showing me the temperature that is below the 413.2 Kelvin. In that way you can visualize which area is quite hot and you need to figure out some two changes. So if I decrease this value you can see. So it is showing me the area which is below 300 uh, which is above 300 uh, Kelvin. Okay. So and if I increase this Okay, you can see how it is plotting. You can also click on ISO 2 and define a particular range that you want to see the value in this particular range. Okay. For example. So here you can see, you can see seeing the temperature in these particular ranges. Okay. And here you can see the Kelvin. So in that way you can do the simulation. I highly recommend check out my free courses link in description if you want to learn how to optimize this fin thickness so that you can get maximum heat optimization okay. To learn that check out my free course link in description and I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.